Good morning. What a busy week it has been for Borlase at home this week. On top of your academic learning, there has been so much going on. Um, it's for year eight, it's been very important because you've been um, thinking about your option choices for GCSE. And for year 12, um, there's been a whole induction week um, for over 250 students where you've been able to come into a virtual Borlase at home environment, experience A-level taster lessons, um, and, I, and the academic societies that were run by our current year 12 students, as well as lots of other things that were set up by Mr Simpson and Mrs Bungie. So thank you very much, everyone that was involved with that, um, and to all of you for engaging with, in it with so much enthusiasm. The Ball Ace Boost has been launched by Mr Duggan. Now, that's something that would be really good to get involved with. Um, money goes to the NHS and towards getting us the fitness suite that we need to have in the, the sports hall when it opens so everyone can keep up with their health and fitness. Um, but most importantly, I think it's a great opportunity, a great incentive to get all of us out there in the fresh air and doing some exercise now that the, the limitation on the amount of exercise we can do outdoors has been lifted. This week, too, there's a real treat in store for Mr. Mile. Um, he put on a lovely lunchtime concert last week for the for the sixth form induction. Across this week, uh, there are performances every single day of the week from our different choirs, from Cantorum, from Gospel, Madrigais, Youth Voices, all of them contributing and probably more to a, a daily musical treat for you. Hopefully by now you've all managed to get in your recordings of Hey Jude. They were due in this morning to um, be put together along with all staff and student submissions to form a mass Hey Jude choir, which Mr. Mile is going to release on Friday on YouTube. So the links will be shared, something else for us to look forward to for the end of half term. So who needs the Eurovision, eh? As I thought about my theme for assembly this morning, I reflected on the excellent assemblies that I've seen by heads of year, heads of key stage and heads of house across the time we've been at Borlase at home. It's been really interesting to see celebrations of nature, sharing your, your feelings of gratitude, sharing literature that you enjoy, the history of plagues to put in, in context the experience that we're going through this, this, this time at the moment. And from Mr Blackwell, I've, I felt he gave us one of the most interesting and informative explanations on the science of vaccines and of coronavirus that I've seen throughout this time that we've had in, in lockdown. So this morning I decided to pick up on Mr Robertson's theme of mental health, wellbeing, kindness. It's a theme that's very familiar to us at Borlase. It's one of our key values. But I'm not going to turn to Plato or to Aristotle, whose writing on kindness and friendship is extensive, and I will return to that. I will share with you the thinkings of another great philosopher. I'll share with you an extract from Winnie the Pooh. It occurred to Pooh and Piglet that they hadn't heard from Eeyore for several days. So they put on their hats and coats and trotted across the hundred acre wood to Eeyore's house. Inside the house was Eeyore. Hello, Eeyore, said Pooh. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet said Eeyore in a glum sounding voice. We just thought we'd check on you, said Piglet, because we hadn't heard from you, so we wanted to know if you were okay. Eeyore was silent for a moment. Am I okay? he asked eventually. Well, I don't know, to be honest. Are any of us really okay? That's what I ask myself. All I can tell you, Pooh and Piglet, is that right now, I feel rather sad and alone and not much fun to be around at all. Which is why I haven't bothered you, because you wouldn't want to waste your time hanging around with someone who is sad and alone and not much fun to be around at all now, would you? Pooh looked at Piglet and Piglet looked at Pooh and they both sat down one either side of Eeyore in his stick house. Eeyore looked at them in surprise. What are you doing? We're sitting here with you, said Pooh. Because we are your friends. And true friends don't care if someone is feeling sad or alone or not much fun to be around at all. True friends are there for you anyway. And so here we are. 
Oh, said Eeyore. Oh. And the three of them sat there in silence. And while Pooh and Piglet said nothing at all, somehow, almost imperceptibly, Eeyore started to feel a tiny little bit better because Pooh and Piglet were there. No more, no less. So continue to be there for each other through ups and through downs because we're all experiencing them. And don't worry about calling your friends if you feel sad. Just sit there quietly, being there together, even in a virtual world, is comfort. So before we sing our last hymn together of the half term, I'd like to wish you all a very well-deserved holiday. We're reviewing and listening to the guidance on the return to school because we need to do this in a measured and safe way. And I'll be writing to you and to your parents at the end of this week to tell you what we've decided to do. In the meantime, I cannot praise highly enough the way everyone in the Borlase community has approached this crisis. Staff, students, parents, thank you and have a lovely holiday next week.